Welcome, everybody. It's great to have you here. Uh, thank you for being here. We appreciate your presence. My name is Federico. I'm going to be your tech support for the day. And before we get started, I just want to make sure that we're all on the same page as far as Zoom tech. So you saw some of the slides we were presenting that we suggest that you stay in gallery view throughout this performance. That means you'll be able to see multiple boxes as opposed to just one big one and multiple small ones. So you'll find that option at the top right corner of your Zoom screen where it says view and just make sure you're on gallery view. Now for the next part, this is a bit more tricky. Uh, hide non-video participants is an important settings. So if you could all go ahead and turn off your cameras for me, stop your video, please. If you could all stop your video for now, please. All right, Serena and Florence, if you could stop your video for me or I'll bring you back. Just give me a second. All right, Rena, I'll bring you back. All right, so if all you're seeing is me at this moment, you're just seeing a, a big square with me speaking on it, you're good. You don't need to do anything else as far as settings. And if you see a bunch of other boxes with names on them, including your name, this is what you need to do. You need to go to your box and on the top right corner, you'll see three blue dots. You're gonna click on those three blue dots and a menu is gonna pop down and you're gonna click on hide non-video participants. And that should allow you to only see me at this moment. If you're on a tablet or phone, you need to tap. And uh, where it says more, the three blue dots, you're gonna click on those three blue dots and then meeting settings. And then another menu is gonna come down that says show non-video participants. If that is check mark with a little, with a little green check mark, you're gonna uncheck it and then you should be okay. If at any point you find difficulties, please feel free to reach out to me. You'll find me on your participant list all the way to the top as Federico Tech. You can send me a private message and I'll do my best to support you and help you in whatever you encounter. Thank you again for being here and without further ado, enjoy the performance. <clears throat> Hello everyone, I'm Hannah, and I'm Zooming to you today from the Mid-Hudson Valley, New York, a little bit outside New York City, the land of the Lenape and Esopus people. And I've been starting to hear planes overhead in the sky. And it's such a strange sound after a year of not hearing planes overhead. And I have mixed feelings about it. On the one hand, it means, wow, maybe I can travel again and 
work overseas and see my friends and family overseas or across the country and get out of this little box. On the other hand, it means that this pause, this pause where human activities slow down and the sky and the sea and the land suddenly became less clogged with pollution and the animals could roam freer. So this means now that we're going to clog up the airways again with all these planes. And I feel less motivated to travel. <coughs> Is that a bird? Is that a... <coughs> what? Oh. Too soon. <laughs> I can get out of here. I can get out of this box. Muy buenos días, me llamo Ricardo. My name is Ricardo, and I am zooming at you from Los Feliz in Los Angeles, which is the land of the Chumash and the Quiche. And my pronouns are the he series and the she series, if culturally appropriate to you. In LA, we are kind of returning to something of a normal, and we're able to go out, we're able to go to restaurants, we're able to see friends. And I find myself as we're returning, as others are returning to normal, feeling like I'm returning to anything but normal. Uh, the past year has been all about survival, thanks to the pandemic, thanks to being a queer man of color, and thanks to everything that's going on in the world. So as we're emerging into a more kind of free sense of, of being, all of the emotions that I have been ignoring for the last year while focusing on survival are coming up in great spurts and floods. And I find myself randomly bawling and randomly laughing. And I do not know which end is up. Uh, I'm not sure what to do with this. But I... uh... Molweni Sauvona, my name is Sheree, and I'm zooming in from South Africa. Today, my mother got vaccinated. My 70-year-old mother got vaccinated. And it's a pretty big deal for me because she's all the way on her own in a different city, and she has had no response from the government systems that have been put in place pertaining registering for a vaccine and then hearing back and then being directed to a vac vaccination center. So today she took a chance and walked in to a center and got vaccinated. I'm relieved. Right here, put it here, put it here. Safe, safety, safety. These arms, are for hugging. These arms are for hugging. Hello, everyone. My name is Will C. I currently live in right next to Boston, Massachusetts. And, you know, since the Biden administration has taken over office, um, I've noticed that the, the push for political uh, corrections, not political correction, correctness, but trying to actually make things better isn't as important a topic anymore. And this concerns me because I'm in a marginalized group that often gets pushed to the sides. So I've been trying to work and figure out new ways to do these artistic projects that bring these issues to the light and try to engage us again. But what I'm noticing is that white supremacy conditioning runs really deep. It's like running into a, a, a huge, vast monster. And I'm both like paralyzed by looking at this monster, but also in awe of how vast and large it's gotten. And I'm trying to figure out how to balance that sense of awe and get over my paralysis. 
Okay, so I'm gonna do something and. Hello? Hello? I just. Whoa, get back, get back. Hello? Get, get, get it Hello? off me. Hello. Oh, wait, it's in me. It's in me. <laughs> Hello? Hi, everyone. My name is Joyce, and I'm also in Los Angeles on Tongva territory. And I've been studying Tai Chi since like the mid 1990s. And I've had several teachers, none of them would teach me the actual fighting application of the movements. Um, but during the pandemic, I actually, even though I was predominantly working from home, found myself in a lot of contentious situations where I needed to engage the art of war, basically. And so strangely enough, or maybe not strangely, I happened to find a Tai Chi teacher walking distance from my house who is really into teaching the applications and wants to teach me the fighting applications. So I feel like during this time, I leveled up in my personal warriorship. And on music today, we have Steve Nash from Newcastle, England. Hi. Hi, Steve, thank you. So we are Pangea Playback Theater and we create a space for compassionate listening and personal storytelling. And we use theater as a tool for reflection and dialogue. We're improv artists, we come with no script. So your life stories will become the material for our play today, which means that you all are an essential part of this event and experience. So we wanna meet you so we're gonna ask you all now to turn on your cameras so we can see you and you can see each other. It's a lot of wonderful people in this room. So here we all are. Now we have a couple of pages, at least on my computer. So feel free to turn your page and see all these wonderful faces from around the world. And if you see someone in this Zoom room who you'd like to say hello to, feel free to unmute yourself for a moment and say hi to someone that you might want to say hi to. Hey, Joyce. Vivica! Hello, hi, Shana. Hello. 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 Hi, Brenda. <laughs> Hi, Marci. Peace out. Okay, there's going to be lots of time. There'll be more time for, for chatting. That's what this whole thing is about, is making connections and um, being with friends and making new friends. So um, as you all know, uh, we can all mute ourselves now. And we're going to be... We're going to be muting and unmuting and turning our cameras on and off. And in this way, we create a stage here on Zoom. Um, this last year, playback has been very nimble, speaking of Tai Chi, and moved into the virtual world. And it has kind of exploded around the world. Um, so we are adapting and we're doing playback this way for now. And maybe we'll go back to the stage in person with our bodies at some point as well. I think some people already are. Um, as you know, this is a, a public show. We've been uh, performing together, this team, all year for organizations and commission gigs um, almost every other week. So we've been pretty busy, but we wanted to come and say hi to you all and, and, and check in. Um, this show is a collaboration with Virginia Tech University and Wabash College, I think it is, um, because they're creating an online um, playback theater archive so that future students can, can learn um, good practice. So thank you for playing it forward with us and agreeing to be part of this experience. 
So if you are brand new to playback theater, could you wave at the camera? So let's just see, is anybody brand new? Hi, Danny, welcome. Uh, yes, I see uh, Jonathan Fox, brand new. Um, Louisa, okay, wonderful. Um, and if you've been doing playback theater or have seen it or do it uh, for some time, can you now wave at the camera too? If you know this ritual, you know this thing, yeah, okay. If you are a part of a playback theater company, I'm gonna invite you to put the name of your company in the chat. Because for those friends here who are new to playback, uh, they're gonna uh, soon see how vast uh, it is. And it's in over 70 countries and it's being done all over the globe. So if you here now also practice playback and have a company, let's, let's see what all these companies are. And we can just read for, you know, we can all just take a moment to, to glance at the chat and read all these wonderful names, True Story and Collectiva de Teatro Playback, da 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 uh, They're coming in fast. The Healers, the Healers are here. Big Apple, um, um, Living Arts, uh, The Crazy Thing Playback is the name of a company. Helsinki Playback is in the house. The Thunders uh, it, are, are, is here. Um, and on and on and on. Okay. Um, so what's so exciting about playback, especially right now uh, doing this virtually is how international these gatherings are. So um, if you are zooming in today, tonight, morning, whatever it is for you from Asia, if you're here today from Asia, could you keep your camera on and the rest of us are gonna turn our cameras off. So if you are zooming in from an Asian country, let's see who you are and welcome you. Okay, wonderful. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, if you are zooming in from Africa, a country in Africa, the continent of Africa, please keep your camera on and let's see who's here from Africa. Yes, we have friends from Africa. Awesome, hello, hello and welcome. And we're so happy you're here. If you're zooming in from Europe, a country in Europe, could you please keep your cameras on and everyone else will turn their cameras off. So now we want the Europeans to come on out and we wanna greet you a warm welcome. Many different countries. You, why don't you just unmute yourself? What, what countries? Portugal. Ireland. Germany. Ireland, Spain. Germany. England. Holland. 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 England. <laughs> Israel. Israel. I want to be in Europe. I'm in UK. <laughs> oh. <laughs> UK. Oh, sorry. Yes. Okay. Um, if you are zooming in from South America or Central America, could you keep turn your cameras on? The rest of us will turn our cameras off. South America, Central America. Yay. Bienvenido. Hello and welcome. Andrea is driving. I hope you're not driving. I hope someone else is driving. Okay. Okay, great. Um, and if you are zooming in from the, um, well, New Zealand, Australia, I don't think, but I'm just going to check. Okay. If you're zooming in from the mid Hudson Valley, New York, come on out. So this very spot, mid Hudson Valley, hello and welcome. Great. Now stay here. If you are zooming in from New York, the greater New York, come on out, open your, turn on your camera, New York folks, I guess I should be here too. If you are zooming in from the East Coast, Eastern Standard Time, come on out, East Coast of the United States. Okay, here we are, hello. Um, if you're zooming in from Central Mountain Time, United States, join us. Okay, Heidi. <laughs> and if you're zooming in from the West Coast, United States, Pacific time, please come on, come on out and, and say hi. Great, great, great to have you. Canada, if Canada's here, please come and join us. And, and the Middle East, I also want to name the Middle East. Uh, let's just, if you're zooming in from the Middle East, let's um, give you a moment as well. And we'll turn our cameras off. Okay. Hi, Ben. All right, wonderful. So let's all come on back. That's who's here. 
uh, th this, this is the uh, community that we're going to be um, hearing stories from today. And the theme, as you all know, is um, how are you in this moment? What's happening for you? As you can see, there are people from all over the world and we're all in different stages. Um, we've all been through something pretty traumatic, all of us here all around the world. Um, and there've been some silver linings. There've been some wonderful moments, I, I hope for, for us this year. And there's also been a lot of really difficult moments. And some of us are still in that dark tunnel. Others of us are kind of emerging out of that tunnel. So that's what we're, we're here just to check in and find out what your stories are um, from the recent past, from this moment, what are you looking forward to? And just before we turn the floor over to you, um, I want everyone to raise their right hand. You're not gonna swear anything in or take a vow or anything, but this is gonna become a spectrum. And when you think of COVID-19, um, if you feel like you're kind of emerging out of it at the tail end, um, or even it's behind you, you're going to be up here. If you're still in that dark tunnel with this pandemic, not vaccinated or wearing masks or locked in, then you're going to be down here. So everyone's going to put their arm on this spectrum so we can just see where everyone is at. Some of us are, might be down here. Some of us might be up there. And we're just going to notice, just take a notice for the rest of the community where, where, they're, where they're at, where, what temperature they're at right now with COVID-19. Okay. All right. So, um, so you can put your hands down. Um, so I just want to find out now from you um, how you're doing. How, how, how is your mental health? How, how is your physical health? How, how, what's good? What's hard? Um, this is Friday. We're at the end of a week. Um, you can just share how you are today, um, how your week has been. And for those of you new to playback, the way it works is you just volunteer uh, to speak. You volunteer your story. You raise your hand or you unmute yourself. You can even use the Zoom raising hand feature if you want. So now I remove that fourth wall, although there was never one there to begin with, and we find out how you are in the audience. What's happening for you today? It's so nice to see old friends and new friends. Very cool. Okay, Warren has his hand up. Great. So Warren, if you could just unmute yourself and start talking, you'll zip over here to the front. Yeah, um, so I, I am feeling incredibly grateful right now. Um, okay, just I, pause, pause for a moment, Warren. I'm going to ask the audience now to turn off their cameras. We're going to dim the house lights, as it were, and create a stage for our first teller so we can see and hear him better. Um, and just remind everybody, Warren, where you're zooming in from. I'm zooming in from Johannesburg, South Africa. Johannesburg. Okay. So you were saying you feel grateful. Yeah, right now. Okay. Because I've been experiencing incredible cabin fever um, from all the lockdown and some of the isolation. And uh, um, yeah, just really grateful to see people that I know on the screen to hear your voice, uh, <laughs> to, see, to, to be in the same room as very dear friends. Um, and yeah, so just very okay. deep breath. So, so um, you're feeling grateful in this very moment at this performance to feel this kind of connection with, with friends. Um, however, outside the Zoom room, uh, there's still a lot of kind of uh, locked in, sheltering in place, cabin fever uh, experience for you. Right, right. Okay. What's the status uh, in Johannesburg right now in terms of the pandemic? So um, we are, we're, uh, we're, we're, we're in a third wave and it's rising ex very sharply and it's breaking the previous two patterns. 
Third wave um, of COVID? COVID, yeah. Okay. Um, so Infections are up. Up. We're way, where the line is literally straight. Mm. Um, okay. It's not even curving. Um, the, and, and we, I live in an area that is, is highly infected and I'm very aware of friends and who are, who've been infected. I'm aware of people struggling. Um, and, I, and I live in a paradox because I got the fir my first vaccination this week as a healthcare worker. And I'm one of maybe 5% of the country that have been vaccinated at the moment. Okay, so 5%, yeah. And, to, and today we, so this is the, the, back, the backdrop. Today we, we heard the news of the, you know, the FDA um, uh, issued a instruction to J&J &J to get rid of 60 million vaccinations. We are one of the sites of production for J&J, &J, South Africa. And South Africa has been waiting for J&J &J vaccines, which were ordered. So this has a huge impact on our country. Um, yeah, so, so there's this paradox. I'm feeling really incredibly sad and angry and frustrated and very aware that, that we, there's, we are nowhere near, um, you know, a, the kind of light Being... at the end of the tunnel. Um, but right. at the same time, you know, I'm- You personally- um... I'm, I'm privileged mm -hmm. and, um, and I'm privileged in this space right now yeah. too. Okay. Um, so things yeah. are still pretty tough there in South Africa, um, but you have a little bit of protection yourself being vaccinated. And, and then also this is a, a nice experience for you uh, being in the room with so many people. Yeah, and, the electricity is working and- because The electricity we've been having, is working. Because we've yeah. been having <laughs> I know I've I've been hearing. Okay, we will see this as a Zoom sculpture. Let's watch. <laughs> oh, wow. It's almost like I can I can touch you. It's almost like, oh, there we are. Oh, it's so, oh, look at that face. Ah, yes. Oh, it's almost like. Hello. Hello. Almost like I can. Hello. Hello, COVID. Hello. Just stay in this bus. Why won't people stay in the box, stay safe, so we can get these numbers down? I mean, it's not much in here. There's not enough. There's not enough of these. There's not enough. There's not enough. Why can't there be? There's enough, but why can't we give equal access? I don't understand. Why? It's so good to see you. How Hello? hard can it be? So good to see you. Hello. How hard can it be? I guess I'll just have to keep. Hello. Oh, I'm lucky I have this one still. Five percent. I still have this. Thank you, performers. Thank you so much, Warren. You can come back on for just a moment. Check in with you. So happy you're here. So happy you're here. Thank you for coming. All right, everyone, come on back. House lights go up. And we want to hear from the next teller. Um, what's happening for you in, in, in your ne neck of the woods, in your community, in your home, in your mind, body? Ah, OK. Uh, someone raised their hand, but I don't know who it is. Autumn. Autumn Rusky. Okay. They're connecting to audio currently. <laughs> okay. Uh, is, um, uh, Autumn, would you like to say something? I think their audio is still connecting. Okay. We're going to wait. We're going to go back to Autumn in a moment. And um, 
Who else might have something they'd like to say? I connected. Are you here, Autumn? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. 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 Wonderful. What What's your feeling? What's your moment? Right here. Right here. Okay. <laughs> Hi. I'm actually in my classroom right now. Um, that was my teacher, my drama oh. teacher. Hi, wait, um, where, oh, okay, oh, right, okay, Autumn, do you have a red shirt on? Yes, I do. Okay, let's all turn our cameras off so we can see Autumn a little bit better. We're going to hear from a student next. Okay, Autumn, nice to have you here. And and what's your, what's your story uh, right now? Um, well, right now, I'm currently at my school. Um, and I just finished drama class and it's the end of our day and um, I know we were talking about uh, like like being um, like what do you feel at this moment yeah. and at this moment I think I feel more overwhelmed just because um, I'm going into my junior year next year and um, I have a lot junior, of this junior year of high school yes okay and i have a lot of decisions to make um i've been dancing for like nine years and um i think i'm going to take a break this year to move on to theater and drama and um so i still have to make that decision and um i have decisions whether i want to do volleyball because i really like to do volleyball so between dance and volleyball and schoolwork it's just so overwhelming and I love theater and me and my teacher we actually we all did a me and my class we did a playback group and wow you've done playback also yes I have okay and so so are you able to kind of get back are you are you able to with this pandemic have, have you been able to be to do your dance classes offline and in person and yes classes okay we That's have good. been we have been we're, okay. we're really grateful to be able to do that yeah um, yeah so it's just been a lot of overwhelming but you know a lot of you know there's a lot of positives that i see you know without my dance community my volleyball community and my drama community so it's it's kind of brought us closer together um just because we get to see what we can do like i never knew some of the things that we could possibly do um you know with this this new setup and everything Wow. Okay. And where are you zooming in from? Where are you? What's your location? Um, I am in Maryland. Maryland. Okay. All right, Autumn. Thank you so much. You are. It's great to hear from a high school student and what high school students are thinking right now. Um, so it sounds like there's some good things, uh, but you're also overwhelmed with with decisions that you're having to make. Yes. We'll see this as a Zoom sculpture. Let's watch. And Autumn, you can mute yourself. So much to juggle. Oh. Uh. I don't have the hang of it yet. Uh. Do, do I go this way? Do I go that way? Do I? Oh, do I go this way? Do I go that way? Do I this way? <laughs> So many things I could do. There's so many things I do when I get out of this box. Watch out. When I get out of this box, I can dance, I can sing, I could play a role. Julia, you do? I oh, see you. Thank you performers, thank you. Thank you to Autumn for their story and let's get everyone back on. Let's see the audience again. 
So that's how it works. We hear you, we listen to you, we throw up a reflection. Um, nice to be overwhelmed with those kinds of questions and decisions. Um, and we wanna hear now from someone else. We'll do a few more short forms. Don't be shy. We don't bite, we can't bite. In person playback, sometimes we bite, but now we can't bite, so. I see Danny with a hand, Hannah. Okay. Danny, come, come on up. You can just start talking and then, and then we'll see you, Danny. Okay, Danny. Hi, Danny. Hi, guys. Hi, everyone. You, you, know the, you know the ritual by now. You can turn your camera off if you're not the teller. That way we give our good attention to the teller. We don't get distracted. Uh, we stay here present. But um, Danny, tell us, what are you thinking about? First thing, thank you for inviting on this. Uh, I, I would like to share one of the experience I had yesterday, we, since we are talking about the COVID and pandemic, I think it has a bigger impact on younger kids as well. Yeah. Though we talk about adults most of the time, but uh, kids like five years old, 10 years old, they, though they don't talk about it, but I think it has impacted them a lot. Yes. Yesterday, like I was with my five years old in, uh, in the playground and uh, Another eight year old was playing with him. They were playing in a soil, they were digging very hard. And then I just asked one of the fellow, like, what are you doing exactly? He said, I'm making graveyard. So making, I was shocked. Making, yeah. I'm just gonna repeat that making a graveyard is what this little kid said. Yeah. And when I asked my son, uh, what are you doing? Because he was doing exactly the same thing. And then he said, no, I'm just planting a tree because I want to see more flowers. So it's like, though you see the same thing happening with kids, their perspectives are different. They have many things in their mind which they are not able to talk about it. But when they show some uh, gestures or with, through their act, I think we, we the adults, we, we need to understand it in a better way and yeah. talk with them about it. Like what are they feeling internally and how they can yeah. How they can express their themselves because yeah. they do watch news all the time. Yeah, they're absorbing. They've they're they've absorbed their this crisis. Yeah. So I I'm kind of amazed how they think about it, and at the same time I'm confused about what we as adult can do with them. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. On, so we'll see this as a three part story. Uh, Sheree Ricardo Joyce. And um, I'm, what I'm hearing is that you were in a playground with your child and your child's name is? Tejas. Tejas? Yeah. He was playing with another child digging dirt and they had very different interpretations of what they were doing. Right. Graveyard versus planting flowers. Right. Yeah, so, so, so how are the kids? How are the kids after these 15 months and how can we help them? Let's watch. down in the soil, deep, deep down in the soil, they dig and dig and dig and dig. And what, what might we find in the young mind? What might we find in the young mind. Hi, it's me, it's dirt. Hi, <laughs> I, I know I just look like a hole in the ground to you, but um, can we talk? We, listen, um, we need to talk about what's going on with these kids. Come over here. I got, you see, 
You see this one, this one, he's, he's putting flowers in me. It's great. I love it. I love it. I love it. And this one, it's not such a, it's not such a rosy story. I might mean one thing to you, but please, please think about what I mean to them. I often find myself wondering what's the best thing to do to raise my child. How, how can I give them the necessary support, the nutrients, the love, the care, and things have been so difficult. How do we talk about difficult things? How do we teach them to honor those who have gone and hold their difficult emotions? How do we love them and love ourselves when the world goes through a trauma? Thank you, performers. Thank you, Danny, for your very important story. Uh, you can come back on for a moment, Danny. Something like that. Yeah. Uh, oh, unmute yourself. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, it was intense, but thank you for sharing. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. If you are a parent of a human, bring yourselves on camera. If you are a parent of a human being, come on camera. All right. If you are a parent of a furry being, an animal parent, come on camera. So these are the, the furry parents. Well, you may not be furry, but you have a furry friend. If you are a grandparent, Oh, uh, turn on your video, come on stage and keep your camera on if you're a grandparent. So these are the grandparents. I think Erica there has her two grandkids with her right now. Can we see them? No, okay, shucks. Okay, um, and everybody come on back. So before we move move along in our in our experience together i want you to get your arm out one more time and this is about hugs how how ready are you for a hug so if you're raring to go ready to just grab and the first person you see on the street you're here if, if you're if you're not really sure kind of are you ready to i mean hug is sort of a a, a metaphor for kind of getting close again with people and and getting in people's space and physical space. So where are you all in terms of, okay, Lisa's way up here, Kathy's up here. Um, yeah, and there's some people who, who aren't quite ready for that, that big hug uh, from the world. Okay, all right. So what's gonna happen next is um, we're gonna put you in a, a little breakout room uh, for a short time so that you can meet someone here and also just have a moment to, to add your voice to the conversation and think about what your story is on this theme. Um, it's only gonna be for seven minutes, it's not very long. Um, so introduce yourself and just make sure that each person has, um, Federico, let's do eight minutes so it's even. Each person has about four minutes um, to, to start to think about what your story is, um, how, how you're doing, what's happening now, what's happening next. What do you hope for? Uh, what are the challenges? Okay, so we'll see you back in eight minutes. If you really don't wanna go into a room to talk to someone, that's okay. Just don't accept the invitation. But in playback, we build a community of neighbors and not strangers. So we encourage you to go meet somebody. 
Ciao. Lisa, you have your hand Lisa. up. Okay, we'll come back to you after. There they go. They're going, they're leaving, they're in the corridor, they're down the hallway. Welcome back. Hello. Hello. David, where are you zooming in from? I'm zooming in from Burbank, California. Nice. And, David uh, is my singing teacher. A lot of playback theater in San Francisco. Yeah. In Crawford. I was oh, that's so cool. Did you hear Joyce? She had a little singing moment. Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Awesome. Hi, Paul. How are you, Paul? I'm good. I, nice unfortunately, I have to go run. Oh, poof. I just nice. came to the door. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, okay. I'll, I'll be back in a minute. Okay. Paul McIsaac, you're a legend. I know. <laughs> Paul McIsaac in the house. Yeah, he was one of the first people when I started learning playback. Everyone said that I needed to meet. And Erica, too. Hi. I just got to put some shoes on. Oh, who's putting shoes on? You don't need shoes for this. All right, welcome back. Everybody. Sorry. Okay. Hi, Rosie. Hi, everybody. Debbie. Hi, Hannah. Hi, Martine. Oh, hi. Okay. Dorothy. All right, Lisa, you had your hand up before. Oh, I just wanted to know how to get to a group, but you know what? Frederico took care of it. So it was, I didn't need to be in charge. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Okay, great. All right. So raise your hand if you were able to have a little chat just now with, with someone else. Um, I'm hoping I see everyone's hand. That's kind of a trick question, but hopefully. Okay, great. Okay. So what we'd like you to do now is, is think about a title or a working title. Um, uh to describe what you just were sharing with your partner so it may not be a full-blown story um but if you were to um label or title what you just were talking about yourself um could you please put that in the chat titles for your stories and everyone can mute themselves uh, that would be helpful And we're just going to start to read them off. So riding the wave, it's worse than I can explain. Living in the liminal space, moving into the unknown with two cars and a cat. Flying to love, close quarters. The most basic need fulfilled, discovering the gift of these times. Sorry and beauty of the ocean, Esperando slash waiting. COVID from west to east, unexpected academic achievement. Betwixt and between, living in the opposite land. Unlock self, emerging into emptiness. These are, this is a poem that we are creating together yeah. as we're, as Joyce and I are reading <laughs> real poetry we, we, we have We here. won't probably read all of them. So why don't you both read a few more and then we'll, we'll start to hear okay. from the audience. Yeah. Creo que te conozco, Facebook, quizás. Uh, limitation is a state of mind. Our talk playback in COVID. Isolation, my connection. And finally, the waves of life. All right, you got to get Amazon addiction in there. All right. <laughs> well, what a collection of stories. Um, so we want to hear some of these now and invite someone to possibly elaborate on on that on their title on on that little description uh so who would like to be the next teller again you can raise your hand like this you can raise the zoom hand you can just start to speak okay elsa all right elsa so um people can turn their cameras off and we will give Elsa the floor and hear a little bit more about her story in this moment. Thank you. How does it begin? Well, it begins with the 
the fact that when COVID gets lighter, other news stories come to the foreground. And this is what I'm living right now here in Portugal. And one news story in particular that is really just gripping me. Yes. Uh, tell us more. Um, uh, we just found out this week that the mayor of Lisbon, every time there's a protest um, outside an embassy here because of something that's going on in the country that that embassy represents, that he's been secretly informing the governments of the countries uh, that people, these people are protesting about who has been at the protests and their identities. Mm, so kind of ratting people out. Yes. Naming names. Yeah, and this has been going on for a while, but now that, you know, COVID has lifted a little bit here, these stories are coming up, and this one in particular has been discovered, and so it's just, we don't even know what to, how to react to this right now. And I live in Lisbon. This is the mayor of Lisbon, someone who I actually voted for. <laughs> so a left wing. Uh, yeah. What's and his name? So, it's for those of us. The who... name is Fernando Medina. <laughs> Say it again. Say it again. Yes. Fernando Medina. Medina. You can just Medina. use Medina. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. Right. So on the one hand, uh, in Portugal, where you are, COVID is lifting some? A little bit, even though Lisbon now is, all, is not advancing in the uh, end of the lockdown because things are getting worse again here. Yes. Okay. So, but still, we're breathing a little bit now. Yes, which yeah. is good. You're still in lockdown? Uh, so we have certain restrictions, but not nearly. Not, it has nothing to do with what we were living before. No, we cannot walk freely. We can travel within the country freely. Right, right. Um, um, yes. But now there's, there's, there's other turmoil. There, there, there are other concerns, uh, yes. political concerns. Uh, that, that, and what's your feeling about this news about Medina? I'm very angry. Okay, and okay. I'm not really being able to find out yet, but it's very soon. You know, the last one, the last story about it, this came today. So I'm still trying to figure out what in trying to figure out how people are going to organize against this, because now, of course, the right wing parties are all using this against the left. And I know that there are so many good people that are still here trying to do the good work, but I cannot even begin to imagine how this man thought that that this could be done. You know, it's just he's been ratting protesters to Israel, to the States, to Venezuela to Russia, to, it's just, it's just China. It's just unbelievable what, to know that, you know, this is happening. And I've participated in some of, I've participated in some of these okay. pro protests, you know what I'm saying? So let me, let me pause you, Elsa, choose one of these actors to play you. We'll see. We'll see. We'll play Elsa. So you said you've been protesting. What's something uh, that that you've been that you that you or others are protesting uh, about in Portugal? Well, very recently, the situation in Palestine and Israel. Okay, that's one of the things. But the last one that I've been in to, at actually last week was against the police intervention in against this lesbian couple who were just in a garden. P Portugal is one of the most advanced countries in terms of legislation for LGBT rights. And still, someone called the police because this lesbian couple was were just kissing in the garden, and there were children there. So this person made a, a complaint to the police, and nine policemen appeared to check out the situation and intimidate these this couple. So we protested against this last week in the same place. Yes. Yeah, so this was the last one I was in. Okay. Yes. Oh, okay. So I can hear in your voice, you're, you're anxious, you're concerned, you're upset. Yes, I still don't know how to direct this, this anger. And so this is very present in my whole body today. Right. Very, my well, breathing, my heart, my te body temperature. Yes. Yeah, right. Okay. So, so when you asked about that body and mental health today, this had, this was here. So just, present. Yeah. Okay, so there's some shady activity happening at the top in leadership, um, naming names of protesters. Um, so 
emerging sort of from one crisis into the next. Yeah. Let's watch. Thank you. It's like the system that's taking my breath away. And the more I struggle, the more it smothers me. And the only thing I could think of to get my breath back is to remove this layer. and vote for a different way. I see that there can be a different way. There's gotta 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 be a different way. Who can bring that way to us? Like we've been living this way with no Medina for, for mayor, too long. Medina for mayor, Medina for mayor. I've heard of him. I've heard He's of our him. man. He's our man. And and he promised to bring us the best things. He promised. I see you. I see you all. He sees me. I see you. I see all of you. He sees all of us. Everyone, he sees all of us. We have to vote for this guy. We have to get behind him. We have to support him because he's going to bring us our freedom. If we want to be free, if we want to breathe again, Medina. Elsa, <laughs> Elsa, I think this doesn't feel quite right. <laughs> It looks right to me. Israel. Um, hello, police. I, I need to report um, criminal activity. Yes, there's two women. They're they're being intimate in the and there's children. There's children there, and I I I I think this is wrong. So I'm. No, no it's, it's it's okay. It's it's going to be okay. You, we don't need all of these police for this situation. Like, I, I will stand in the way. I will I will protest. Process to make sure. Here's some, here's some information. Shh. They don't know. I've been watching them. <laughs> we weren't supposed to know. But now that people are removing their mask a little bit more, we can see what you've been up to. We can see that you are not for us. We see you now. And do you know what you've done? You betrayed us. You betrayed us. More than that. You've set us back so far. Now the, the right side is claiming that they're right because of the things that you did in secret at night. You can't even face me, can you? I voted for this joke. I just wanted to believe that it wasn't stupid to have some hope. Like if 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 I 
were a different person, I would tell you, if I could just express the way that I feel, I would take my hands and... Still. Thank you, performers. Let's get our teller back on, Elsa. Something like that, Elsa? Yes, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Sounds like a challenging situation. Um, Everybody, come on back. Keep us posted, Elsa. Yep, thank you, thank you. So we have time for a couple more stories. Um, getting warmed up here. Who might have the next story? Again, we create a dialogue through stories. So one story responds to the next story and all stories are legitimate, are valuable, uh, are meaningful. Sometimes we wait a moment. Oh, various hands, various hands. Okay, Lisa, go for it. This is your first playback experience, so. My, yeah, wow. Well, I, uh, my story is based upon our little breakout experience with another Lisa in Germany. Okay. And we spoke about, are we ready to hug? Yes. <laughs> and today I went hiking. I went hike, uh, I did the rock scramble at Mohonk, which is a vertical rock climbing experience. I, I do it regularly with a friend. And in this case, we were coming down and um, as we were descending, two couples were ascending and the two women were having a massive anxiety attack and did not want to proceed. So my friend and I said, no problem, we'll take you down. And one of us took the front, one took the back and we assured these women who didn't know us from Adam that they would be safe and we'll escort them down, they'll be fine. And when we got down, they threw their arms around us. <laughs> as if COVID did not exist. And it was magnificent. It felt good, it felt good. Uh, All right. I was crying as I was telling Lisa the story. Ah, uh, okay. So a recent experience of a, a, a positive human connection, um, helping some people with anxiety, helping them back down this cliff. Yes. And then it ends, ends with a big hug. An unexpected, unexpected, unsolicited, yummy, unsafe, yummy hug. <laughs> yeah, just, just not un, without hesitation. Correct. Um, all right, we will, we will see this as a three-part story. Uh, we'll see Joyce Ricardo. Let's watch. <laughs> Can someone show me how to use this thing? I, like, <laughs> I've been I've been here for a while, and I knew I should have like Googled this or something. I, I mean, it's, it's 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 getting dark, and these rocks are a challenge, and I don't I don't know what to do or where to go. Which which way which which way? Can you help me? Oh. I'm the hiking trail. And I haven't seen a whole lot of people, but it's nice to see people coming back and walking freely 
supporting each other, enjoying the greenery, enjoying the day. I've been having a sense of expansion and watching these humans also expand. I know that they've needed me, they've needed me, and they've needed a sense of touch. They've needed a sense of touch, not just with me, but with each other. Come on, uh, come on. Yep, this, it's this way, this way, this way. Just follow me. Just here we go, here we go, and here we go, and here we go, and here we are. We made it back. And there you are, and there I am. And what's, what's happening? What's happening? Do what it. Are you? Do what it. Are you? What are you doing? Don't Is hold this back. Happening? Do Is it. this happening? Is this Thank you performers. Thank you, Lisa. Hug story, helping story, human story. Thank you. All right. So we have, yeah, I mean, you know, we can always hug ourselves, pretend it's someone else inside our arms. We have time for one or two more. I'm going to pass the conducting apple over to my colleague, Joyce. Thank you. And I'm going to conduct the next story. So who, who has the next story? David. All right. I saw so I'm gonna... Cabello, oh. Cabello and Paul also. You're gonna have to oh. choose. Okay. How, okay. Um, is it okay if we, why don't we do Cabello and then we'll, we'll have time for one more? Yeah, we'll go back. Okay. We'll try and get okay. everybody. All right. All no, right. sorry. So, um, I, I, I don't have a story. Sorry. Excuse, sorry about that. I was just um, stretching my hand. No story from me. <laughs> So sorry about that. So sorry. You sure? Are you sure? <laughs> I'm very sure. I'm very sure. Okay. All right. Okay. So we'll go with David then. Okay. Hello. <laughs> Hi. And we'll ask everyone else to stop video. So, um, David, how does your story begin? Um, it begins. Um being uh, an actor in a television show. Okay. And you're an actor in, can you say what television show it is or? Um, I cannot. Okay. But, <laughs> okay. <laughs> but you're, you're an actor in a television show. Ah, but I can tell you that it's a scene that involves FBI agents. Okay. You're an actor in a, in a show that involves FBI agents. Very yeah, good. I, I'm an FBI agent. And so, yes. Okay. <laughs> And then, and what happens? So um, what happens is that, uh, and this was, this was yesterday actually. And um, uh, so it, when you're working in, in these TV shows now, there's all these COVID protocols. So there's all, you know, mm -hmm. you're, until the moment when you're actually filming, you're either wearing a mask or a shield or both. And, uh, and then even when you rehearse a scene, you're wearing those things. And in this particular scene, um, it involved like a bunch of extras and, a, and a, it was this whole ensemble scene where you're put really, really close to each other, um, like just like right on each other, super close. And when we're rehearsing with the masks and the shields, I was like, okay, this is fine. This is kind of nice being close to people. But then when we were about to actually roll, 
they say, okay, shields off, masks off, you hand your stuff. And then all of a sudden you're like right next to everyone, no shield, no mask and like breathing each other's air and just, and I felt super uncomfortable. Like, like it, like it, it was all like a heightened sense of discomfort, not claustrophobia, but just something even deeper that was just so, I just have this frenetic body feeling somehow inside. A frenetic, a frenetic body feeling. And how yeah. long did this frenetic body feeling, how long did this frenetic body feeling go I on? Like, I think until they actually said action, like for this, the moments we were, we were actually filming, it was fine, but like up until the moment, just like, yeah, it was just, it dissipated as soon as we were done also, but it was like, yeah, up until the moment of actually shooting, it was just vibrating somehow. Mm -hmm. And so you were able to, to do your job and then, okay. Yeah, exactly. And are you gonna be going back to this set? Uh, no, I quit. No, I'm just kidding. No, I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, uh, yes, yes, there will be another day of shooting. And, and uh, yeah, and, and that was just one, yeah, otherwise it's been normal, but all of a sudden, boom, you know, that one situation was really intense that way. With a lot of extras. Okay, so how are you feeling about going back? Uh, oh, um, I feel fine. Um, I feel fine. Actually, I, 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 I think that, hmm, have I graduated beyond that? I think that I feel like, yeah, I think I'm totally okay to go back for more. Okay. All right. Okay. So thank you. For, is there anything else you'd like to add? Um, no, I think that's it. Okay. So uh, we'll see this as a beat with Wilsey and Hannah and the rest of us can stop our video. Let's watch. There is no business like show business. But I need you to keep your business to yourself. Because the way these rules have changed are for us to help. We need to have a mask. We need to have a shield. We need to have something. It may not feel real, but it feels like we're still alive. And I don't want anyone on this production to lose their life because we are being careless. I am the FBI and I am someone you can trust. But the moment we have to take off that shield, and we take off that mask and we reveal the things that we have been going through these last series of months. COVID-19 is not something that I want. It's not something that I wanna to give to you. It's not something that I want any of us to have to go through. I, I, I am the FBI and I, I am trying to turn that F into I am fine, but I'm not feeling fine. Honestly, I'm losing my mind until they say action. Now that I know, because I am an actor and I am a professional and I know that the show must go on. But that moment before action, It feels so long and scary. And I'm trying to figure out why is everyone's so near me and, and extra, 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 everywhere, extra, extra, read all about it. More people are dying, even though we have the vaccine and I don't understand what any of this means to any of us really. Is it silly for us to speak so freely for this show that's going to be seen on TV? I know. I know. It's, 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 I, I'm, I'm, I'm very close to fine.
but I'm still going to put on my mask in those other times. Thank you, actors. And David, could you start your video? How was that for you? Wow, that was that was amazing. Thank you. Thank you. And we'll all look out for you on TV, on the TV. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And let's invite everybody to start your video again. And I will pass the, yeah, you can applaud the amazing actors. And I will pass the conducting Apple back to Hannah. Thank you. Oh, I'm so curious, David. You're going to have to send us the link or something. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and tell you. I mean, it's the, the, they're so harsh on like confidentiality. So there you go. <laughs> All right, so let's, let's take one last teller for, for this particular show. As you saw earlier, there is playback happening all over the world. There are many more performances and places, um, hopefully for you to tell your story and make connections. But we here uh, at Pangea headquarters, um, we, want to, we want to welcome one last teller. Now I know Paul has had his hand up and we're gonna hear from Paul, um, but I also wanna invite someone um, from outside the States. So I'm just gonna, okay. So we're going to um, Paul, can I go to Linda and then could you do yours as a short form, Paul? Sure. Okay, all right. All right, so, oh, Andrea, you have your hand up too? Andrea? Okay, all right. We might have to meet again. Um, so Linda, Please um, stay on. Everyone else can turn their cameras off. Paul, we will we will come back to you. I promise. Um, just want to get outside the United States a little bit um, since we're in such an international uh, community here. Okay, Linda, tell us. So I'm calling in from Berlin, and the story starts last Monday at our last rehearsal. My group, uh, we are all. Uh, cancer affected, some of us patients, some of them on ongoing chemotherapy, still, you know, like ongoing, always. Okay, so and uh, everyone's been touched by cancer, uh, some still dealing with it. Yeah, and they will have to deal with it for the rest of their lives. So they have an ongoing theme, chemo treatment. And uh, we were all glad that we all get our got our second vaccine vaccination and we're since a week Germany is slowly opening up and uh, at the rehearsal one of uh, my my colleague told a story that she just had a checkup with her physician and they checked her body of the antibodies against covid and there was zero so zero antibodies zero antibodies which isn't so, good which is very bad because she's not protected at all so we all got kind of shocked <sighs> kind of yeah we went like oh gosh you know it's it's not over yet it's not over yet so we all in the 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 process now of checking each other checking with the physicians if we if we are protected at all so it's still kind of a very, um, mm. first of all, it's very frustrating because uh, it was just about the point where we were going like, wow, now it's going to happen. We can meet at rehearsals again. We can see each other again. So everything is on the stop now and there is kind of no, no, no end to it somehow. We, we don't know how it's going to end or what kind of solution there's going to be. You're, you're or... still in danger. Yes. You're, you're, you're not out of, out of, out of, the, out of danger, out of the woods, um, even though you've been vaccinated. For me personally, I don't know yet. I will know only in a week from you now. You being your group, uh, collective. In my group, yes. 
So I know that at least two or three are going to be affected in this way. So it's kind of, I don't know. Yeah. I, I'm do still feel? trying to figure out of how to support them and how to, and what to do. How are you feeling? Uh, frustrated. Mm -hmm. Okay, frustrated. And also, yeah, it's, it's a bit fearful. It's threatening. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because we're looking so much forward to this solution now. The solution of finally getting protection and antibodies uh, as a vulnerable population, being able to meet and touch and hang out again together. Yes. Um, okay. All right. This virus is, uh, is a new one and much we don't know. So thank you, Linda. We're going to do this as a tableau. Let's watch. Linda is in a playback theater group of cancer survivors and they recently got back together. Some are past the sickness, some are still dealing with the sickness. They are a vulnerable population, but soon they will be vaccinated. And the vaccine arrives, shots in arms, and let's build our protection, people. A group member reports that in fact, at a doctor appointment, she was told that she has no antibodies, no protection post vaccination. <laughs> this armor, this armor isn't working. Danger still lurks. What are we to do? Do I stay in? Do I go out? When are we going to be past this virus? Thank you, performers. And let's get our teller back on for a moment. Thank you, Linda. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Ending with such a dramatic story, sorry. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's what we're here for. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. And I hope, I hope the story gets better. Um, and it's also to call awareness to others that are affected to check it because apparently, yeah. Just terrible It's mood. not much talked about. Yeah. All right, everyone, let's come on back. And um, we're gonna hear from a final teller for, t for today, Paul McIsaac. Uh, he has been around playback a long time. We haven't seen much of him. Um, so great to see him today. And Paul, yeah. in the short version, what, what did you have to tell? So I've been zooming and zooming and zooming, talking to groups about the filibuster. Now, for those of you outside of the States, you might not know we have a very weird thing in the Senate where one person can stop legislation, even though we got rid of Trump and the Democrats control the, the, the presidency and the Senate and the House, one person can stop the legislation. And it's not only every single important legislation you can imagine about race, about economics, about, but it's about the fundamental democracy in this country is threatened by what's going on 
in the Republican Party. They're trying to run the country as a minority party. So I've been on frantically talking with groups and we've been organizing and I've become incredibly frustrated because so far, the only thing that the groups that oppose this filibuster have been doing is making phone calls and sending emails to their senators, which is great. But I and a few other people have been saying, we've got to do more. We've got to get on the street. We've got to demonstrate. We've got to go out in big numbers. And nobody wanted to do it. And I'm so thrilled to say that in the last couple of days, and guess who it is, the poor people's campaign. The poorest people, the people who represent the poorest people in this country have said, we're going to Washington and we're going in numbers and we're gonna say, save our democracy. So I guess I'm going from total frustration to yes. A little bit of hope and optimism and, and movement. Uh, there, 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 are, there are people going to Washington to march uh, to, to, to address this problem. Okay, so we'll do this as a final Zoom sculpture for Paul. And we're gonna kind of include all of that. So there's real frustration because no one's really dealing with this. You've been trying to get people motivated. And finally, uh, there, there is some activity. Um, and let's see if there's any change. All right, let's watch. Vamos a ver. together because we are stronger when we are together. We are stronger when we are more. Come on, people. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's you're gonna go. We're gonna go. We're gonna we're gonna go. We're gonna we're gonna go. Come on. Let's go. We're gonna yeah. yeah. Ah. We're gonna go. We're gonna go. We're gonna go. Okay. Not enough. We got we gotta find some we gotta find something to do. They, they just talk and talk and talk, but we're done talking. We, we care about what you say. You have to say Gotta something find. that is viable. We, we're going to hold you accountable. We're gonna, we're gonna change the system. We're gonna up there, we're gonna go up there. People. Thank you performers, thank you so much. Another story about protest and change. Paul, thank you uh, to help us uh, finish our journey here together on a, on a note of optimism and hopefully uh, some, some good positive change. Um, so everybody, just keep your cameras off for, for another moment because we're gonna finish up here with one more little ditty. Um, we're gonna invite you back in just a moment once there was. Once there was a woman who was part of a group of caring individuals who all were touched by cancer and received the shocking surprise that maybe they weren't as well protected as they thought. nothing. Once there was a woman who saw the truth of her vote, who realized the truth of her mayor. I see you now. What the? 
I see you now. You, you <gasps> watching me? Well, I'm watching you. It's tripped again. Behind the curtain. That's what goes on. <sighs> Once, there was an unexpected hug that felt so good it broke the recipient down to tears. No hesitation. No oh. hesitation. That's right. That's right. That's it. Bring it in. Bring it in. <gasps> Human touch. <laughs> We're not broken. Mm. Once there was a young person with, who was moving on to their next year of high school, and they had so many choices about what they were going to do that they felt totally overwhelmed. Maybe, maybe I'll have the, that, and I'll have a little bit of I'm a good that, and, but I also have to sleep. And, and I, I can dance. dance. And once there was a group of people from around the world who gathered in a Zoom room on a Friday afternoon in June to meet each other and listen to each other and tell stories, build empathy and connection, and who hope for a new and better day. Thank you so much for coming. Come on back. We want to say goodbye. Thank you so much. Never feels like enough time, but we know that you took time out of your life to be here with us today. Andrea, if you had a story, we want to hear it next time. And for everybody, hopefully you can find a squirrel or a child or a spouse or a tree to tell your story to. And stay safe and take care until we see you again. Thank you so much. I'm gonna put on some music so you can dance out of the Zoom room. See you again. Thank you so much.